The future of your brain. It is believed that the human brain is the most advanced and powerful computer in the entire globe, and to the best of our knowledge, the entire universe. Artificial intelligence, AI. Algorithms that are currently considered to be the most advanced are just now beginning to provide a partial simulation of a very small number of the operations that the brain does. When it comes to specific operations, such as mathematics and language, artificial intelligence is significantly faster than humans. Because of this, it should not come as a surprise that a significant amount of thought and research has been put into integrating the two entities. Artificial intelligence is being used to gain a deeper understanding of the functioning of the brain and eventually develop more accurate replicas of it. There is a possibility that one day it will also be of assistance to us in the creation of systems that combine the speed and accuracy of digital computers with the richness and range of skills that the human brain possesses. Does that sound like something that could be found in a science fiction novel? Undoubtedly, that is the case. There have been several wonderful stories that have been centered on the idea of connecting human brains to computers. Some examples of these stories include movies such as The Matrix and books such as Ready Player One and Neuromancer. In addition to this, however, it is also becoming an increasingly plausible option in the real world. Companies such as Neuralink and Paradromics, which are owned by Elon Musk, as well as government agencies, such as the governments of the United States and Europe, have developed programs to explore the potential and it is believed that applications that are capable of functioning in the real world are on the edge of development. In light of this, the following is a summary of the progress that has been made up to this point in the mission to achieve the ultimate merging between humans and machines, as well as some ideas regarding the potential future outcomes that may result from these breakthroughs. Early in the past, electrodes that were able to measure and react to signals, initially from monkey brains, and then from human brains, were used in the early attempts to control simple electrical devices like light bulbs. These early experiments date back to the late 1960s. A number of the earliest studies were conducted to enable amputees to exert control over artificial limbs. This is a topic that continues to be a primary focus of research in the field of brain-computer interfaces to this day. The first successful demonstration of a brain-computer interface took place in 1988 at the University of Rochester. The presentation involved the use of brain impulses to move a computer pointer around a screen. In the 1980s, these neurons that governed motor functions in rhesus macaque monkeys were found and isolated. In the late 1990s, it became possible to duplicate visuals seen by cats by decoding the firing patterns of neurons in their brains. Both of these developments occurred in the 1980s. Over time, Surgical techniques have progressed to the point where it is now morally acceptable to experiment with intrusive methods of implanting sensors inside the human brain. This has made it possible to harness and analyze brain signals with a significantly higher degree of precision and dependability. Because of this, we made significant progress in our understanding of how brain impulses might be processed and utilized to operate machines or computers in a short amount of time. At this time, since then, substantial advancements have been made in the field of brain-computer interfaces. One of the most well-known pioneers in the field today is Neuralink, which was established by Elon Musk. In addition to developing implantable brain-machine interface BMI devices, the company also creates the M1 chip, which is capable of establishing direct connections with over 1,000 distinct brain cells. People who are paralyzed will be able to regain their mobility with the use of machines and prosthetic limbs, according to the goal of this initiative. The application of their technique in the development of medicines for Alzheimer's illness and Parkinson's disease is another area of research that they are investigating. Wearable brain sensing devices that monitor EEG signals with the assistance of artificial intelligence have been created by BitBrain. They offer programs that are used for conducting medical brain scans in addition to a wide range of laboratory instruments that are utilized in studies about human behavior, health, and neuroscience. NextMind, which was recently bought by Snap Incorporated, the parent company of Snapchat, is yet another business that is bringing goods to market in this sector. To accomplish this, it has built a gadget that can convert impulses from the visual brain into digital commands. It is their ambition that, in addition to developing tools that enable computers to be controlled by brain signals, they will also develop a device that is capable of translating visual imagination into digital signals. To put it another way, any image that you imagine will be translated into digital signals and displayed on a computer screen. Boundaries are being pushed even further and further in the academic world. 
As an illustration, researchers who are interested in brain-computer interface technology have utilized machine learning to extract data from frontal lobe electroencephalogram (EEG) signals. This data has been utilized to categorize mental states, such as a person's level of relaxation or tension, with a high degree of pinpoint accuracy. In addition, a diffusion-based neural network, which is the picture creation model utilized by artificial intelligence programs like DALL-E and Midjourney, has been utilized to reconstruct images that individuals have seen based on their EEG activity, as well as music that an individual has listened to. What comes next in future? It should come as no surprise that this is a very advanced technology from which we are only just beginning to gain an understanding. Eventually, it may open up possibilities that appear to be completely fantastical at the moment. For example, it may be possible to digitally record all of a person's life experiences. It may be possible to create a digital representation of any person or object simply by thinking about it, and it may even be possible for us to mind control another person. However, this is predicated on the question of whether or not this would be a good thing. We can anticipate less invasive methods of collecting electrical brain activity in the not-too-distant future. This will mean that the technology will have a greater range of applications without requiring consumers to undergo implant surgery. There is a good chance that this will include developments in the application of near-inferred spectroscopy, which is a technique that uses light to identify variations in the blood flow in the brain. It will also be feasible to grasp the meaning of certain EEG signals with more precision by extracting them from the background noise that is associated with the brain more efficiently. We can also anticipate the development of brain-to-brain -brain interfaces, which will make it possible for us to send and receive telepathic signals. This will be made possible by an electronic middleman device that would record messages that have been deciphered from the EEG activity of one individual and then deliver them straight to another individual. It is even possible that this may extend to the control of other people's bodies. Researchers at the University of Washington have demonstrated a technology that enables one person to control the hand movements of another person by utilizing their brain. It is quite evident that this technology possesses the potential to be tremendously transformational in a variety of disciplines, ranging from making it simpler for us to precisely manage machines to restoring mobility for individuals who have lost it to developing new methods in which we can communicate and share information. We have utterly ignored the subject of what it would mean for society if technology made it possible for a person's most intimate and private thoughts to be decoded and effectively watched like a movie. Of course, there are enormous ethical implications for all of this. We have completely passed over the question. What is the maximum amount of time that these videos can be rewinded backward? Even when we haven't given anything much attention for a considerable amount of time, it is not uncommon for the human brain to suddenly recall information about people, places, or experiences from our distant past. This is something that we are all cognizant of. Psychologists also teach us that the brain has the potential to prevent us from thinking about or remembering specific memories or incidents if doing so would be painful or distressing. This is something that we cannot stop thinking about or remembering. In what ways will the development of this technology teach us about the functioning of memory? And do we have a moral need to devise safeguards that will prevent the extraction of information from having potentially harmful effects? These are the kinds of concerns that will surely need to be answered before development can advance any further than it has already done up to this point. The field of study and technical development, on the other hand, possesses a great deal of exciting potential and has the potential to have a great number of beneficial applications. If you watched this far, please share your thoughts in the comments box below for more fascinating subjects. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.